Oh, what a shot. Oh, my word. I don't think Corker can quite believe it. <laughs> it was excellent from Corker. Watch this shot here. She thought she'd won it. Now, watch this ball. She's turn turned away. <laughs> she's turned away thinking she's won the point. Ukraine took on Sweden in the Class 6-8 final. Match one went to a fifth game as the teams were locked on two games each. It was Ukraine who reached match point. Oh, they've done it. And <laughs> <laughs> look at the reaction. They're celebrating as if they've already won the gold. In the men's singles class seven final, Brazilian Israel Pereira Straw's gold medal dream was just one match away. Standing in his way was a spirited William Bailey of Great Britain, whom Pereira had already beaten 3-1 in the group stage. The first set was over quickly, Bailey taking it 11-9. Well, it's been an interesting first game. Pereira got back to his best and went on the offensive in game two. Eventually winning the game 11-2 to the delight of the home fans. Oh, that's brilliant. What defence from the Brazilian. He looked out of the rally at least twice. He is fired up. This is a great match. Bailey then went on to clinch the third game 11-9. Well, what a seesawing match this is and what a seesawing game as well. Both players continued to play top-class table tennis in the fourth game. But it was Bailey who was too good for the Brazilian and powered through the match point to claim a first gold medal in his third Paralympics. He was a silver medalist four years ago. He's not short of confidence, this boy, is he? <laughs> and it is Will Bailey, the world ranked number one, who had the silver in London. He's gone one better here. <laughs> he needs to come down and uh, do the right thing. He's got, a, he's got a yellow card for that, and I don't think he cares. <laughs> well, it's like taking your shirt off after scoring a goal. And into the arms <laughs> of his coach. And one of the final matches of the morning saw Great Britain's David Wetherill up against Ibrahim Hamatou. The Egyptian lost his arms in a train accident when he was 10, but it hasn't stopped him playing table tennis and fulfilling a decades-long dream to play at the Paralympics. In 2014, Hamatou became an internet sensation when a video of him playing at the World Championships went viral. However, Weatherall proved too strong in this match, winning three games to nil in just 17 minutes. There was an emotional victory in the bronze medal match for Anna Karin Alkvist of Sweden, who beat Yun Ji Yu of Korea. Alkvist won the match by three games to nil and celebrated with her coach. Competing in the women's singles class six final was Croatia's Sandra Pajovic. She has been a rising star in the sport and competed at the 2008 Olympic Games. However, she suffered an injury and only took up the sport again three years ago. The only player standing between her and the gold medal was Germany's Stephanie Gribo. In set one, the match immediately burst into life, with both players on the attack. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's well hit by Gribo. The Croat asserted her dominance, though, taking the set comfortably 11-2. In set two, the German got into her rhythm. Oh, my word. Another just, one. Yeah, just rolled it across the net. However, the Croat was still the dominant player. Taking a two sets lead. The German needed to win set three, but Pejovic's ball striking was too good. and within five minutes, she comfortably reached match point. An unbelievable achievement for Pejovic, winning her first Paralympic medal. The women's class eight singles, Frances Tu Kamka Somfu was up against China's Miao Jingdiang in a repeat of the 2012 gold medal match in which Jingdiang won. Both players found their rhythm quickly. Kamka Somfu applied the pressure on the Chinese. Oh yes, well, she shows she can play on the backhand as well. But Ma comfortably won the first game 11-6. And 
that would be that. Kam Ka Somfu took the second game to 8 all, but the Chinese kept up her attacking approach. And it paid off, adding more frustration for Kam Ka Somfu. 21 year old star from China drew a final mistake from Kam Ka Somfu to close out a straight games win and add a gold medal to a 2014 world title and her 2012 London gold. The gold medal match in the Class 7 women's singles table tennis at Rio Centro, where Kelly Van Zon of the Netherlands played Cooper Korkut of Turkey. Right-hander Van Zon was playing in orange, and she clinched victory with her first match point. She won by three games to nil, 11-9, 11-9, The men's singles Class 3 final featured Thomas Schmidberger of Germany and Feng Panfeng of China. Feng won the first game, 11-5, but the German bounced back in the second. And he's done it. Well, he struggled early on in this game. It was all square when Feng Pang Feng took the next game to lead 2-1. And it was a commanding lead. Feng Pang Feng now needed only one game to claim victory. It's gone long. It's gone long and it's a third consecutive gold medal for Feng Pang Feng. In match two, Ukraine's Viktor Didok took on Sweden's Linus Carlsen in an intense first game. But it was Didok who prevailed, winning 11-5. Game two was even tighter, but it was the Ukrainian who reached game point first. And he's won it. That's two games to love. Carlsen needed to win game three to have any chance to win the match. He kept the pressure on, but the Ukrainian was always there with a response. Did it reach match point and there was a mistake from Carlson. Oh, and he's done it. That's the gold for Diduk and his teammates, and look what it means to them. <laughs> An unholy scrum on the floor. And I'm sure at some stage they'll compose themselves ready for the podium. In match two, Poland's Natalia Patika took on China's Yang Qian a repeat of their earlier Class 10 gold medal match, which the pole won. After losing Game 1, Qian began to play better. But Partika was always in control and eventually won Game 2 as well. Well, what a rally and what defence from Partika. Finally, the forehand broke down. For China, Game 3 was a must-win. Xi'an tried to fight back, but Partika reached match point first. And there it is. It's six straight games for Partika against Yang on the singles table. China played Spain in the Class 9-10 gold medal match. With China leading two games to one, Spain had to win Game 4. Which they duly did, 11-8. Oh, that's the rally of the match so far. In game five, both teams are giving it their all. Oh, it oh. took a bit of net there, didn't it? From the Spanish return from Cardona, I think it was. But it was China who prevailed and won match one. And they've done it. Into the net for the Spaniards. They've had to work really hard. The final of table tennis men's singles class nine gold medal match was a European affair as world number eight Gerben Last went head to head with 16 year old Lauren Deville. And it was Netherlands born Last who made the better start, going 3 1 up in the first game. But the Belgian teenager was happy to go toe to toe with the 30 year old, frustrating his opponent and levelling the scores at four points each eventually using his backhand to win the first game by 11 points to 8. Current European champion Devoe produced a lightning start in Game 2, forcing his rival into several mistakes, and he took an early lead, winning the first five points. 
Despite losing the next two points, it was the Belgian prodigy who produced a great return to increase his lead by four points. In five previous meetings, Last has claimed victory three times, and the world number eight levelled the scores at seven points each in the second game with a wonderful recovering shot. Devoe reclaimed the lead, and the left-handed player's confidence grew, producing more attacking venom to further his lead. In the space of six minutes, the world number two was now one game away from victory. The 16-year-old continued to boss the final game with a fine rally and stunning attacking play to have a three-point lead over the Dutchman, who was unable to cope with Devoe's play. With a 9-4 lead in the third game, the Belgium youngster took a step closer to winning the gold medal. And he's done it. He's done it. It took him a while, I think, for it to sink in. Friends and family can't believe it. It was an incredible display by the left-handed player who won in straight games, all in the space of 18 minutes. The young talent first picked up a bat at the age of six, and this could be the first of many Paralympic gold medals for Belgium's Laurent Devo.